So I just want to explain um, our concept of simple user reports, because at Fastview we bang on about simple user reports all the time. But as you've seen, the, it's really simple to run a report, uh, but there's, there's quite a bit of information in there. Uh, we're not sort of dumbing down reports to just show you the top five sites and categories that people have accessed. We're doing quite a lot of um, stuff to pull out YouTube videos from, from log data and things. But more importantly, um, simple user reports is probably best explained with this graphic because every firewall vendor under the sun will tell you that yes, we've got awesome reporting, we've got a reporting solution, and, and yeah, we can show you what, um, what websites people are going to online. But every single one of them will give you a report like this. So this is a screenshot from an actual firewall. I'm not gonna tell you which one. You might be able to guess from the, from the interface. But this is my web browsing after visiting just two websites. So I went to youtube.com, which is down here at number 21. And I also went to National Geographic, which is here at number nine, and also scattered around the place at 19 and so on. So what's all of this other stuff? Well, Google Video is where YouTube streams all of its video chunks from. Akamai HD is where National Geographic was getting all of its video content and images, so I can deliver that nice and fast to you. Twitter and TWIMG, well, TWIMG is Twitter's um, content delivery network where all the images are stored. So what's Twitter doing in there? Well, National Geographic has uh, pixels behind the scenes to make sure that their Twitter advertising is working. And all of that's just flying through your firewall and gets logged by your, your XG or whatever firewall you're using and, and ends up in your reports. So if I just jump back to our reports here, I'll just show you existing reports and open up Kiera's internet usage report we were looking at before. We've got these buttons at the top of all of our sites sections. So you can go clean off and you'll see things like Google Video, um, content delivery networks, advertising like doubleclick.net and so on appear in this list. But with clean on, we resolve all of that into the real website that someone entered into the address bar of their browser. We've actually got a web crawler that goes out and scans all of the common websites and gets its own idea of content delivery networks and advertising what we call junk URLs and pushes that out to all the fast view reporter instances. We also go through everything in the log data from status codes to MIME types to refer URLs to try and make all this make sense. It was quite a Herculean effort, it took us about 12 months and we're still refining the algorithm every day. Uh, but what I'm saying is you still might see a little bit of junky activity, but it will be down pushed to the bottom of the list. Okay, so it is very, very good at showing you what sites people are accessing. It's not 100%, I just wanna make that clear, but you know, 95% of your web traffic will be cleaned up significantly by using FastView. And as we know, um, or as far as we know, FastView is the only vendor that's going to this extent to make sense out of your firewall logs for non-technical audiences. Because there's no way that you can, let's bring this back up. There's no way you can send this to a teacher saying, this is what little Johnny was doing on the internet last week. Um, you might have been able to do that 20 years ago, but in the current state of the modern web, there's just no way that that makes sense anymore.